Good morning, world. I don't know what day to consider this at this point in this project. A whole lot of gray areas. Yesterday where we left off, we resolved the dragging e-brake issue. Today we are starting on the process of re-gearing the front end to match the new gears of the rear end. So a whole lot of things are gonna come off up in the front region. I already took off the dust covers and we're gonna be yanking some wheels off. Then we're gonna be taking off brake rotors and then we're gonna be removing the hub assembly and that's gonna be where I don't know what the heck I'm doing and I'm gonna have to ask for your knowledge. <laughs> Should be a learning curve today. Here we go. We're also gonna be doing upper and lower ball joints, which I've never done before. So that'll be a learning curve for me too. trash about my cute little Ryobi gun. It works good. It might not be a mill. I'm running out of steam, mentally, for sure, not, not physically, doing fine. <laughs> that was so overcompensating. But so next we're gonna be bleeding the brakes so that we can uh, put the back wheels on and get it all put back together, get it on the ground again. That way we're only left with the front axle stuff. Alrighty, so I've got my lovely assistant coming out to help she's going to be the person who stands on the brake pedal while i am the bleeder -er 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 -er. okay oh yeah all right you can stop 
All right, let's go do the other side. Rissy, go ahead. Tell me when it gets firm. That's what she said. Okay, hold on one second. Hold it down all the way at the bottom. Okay, now lightly put your foot on the brake, and then you're gonna bring it all the way to the bottom. Push, push, push. Tell me when it's at the bottom. We're gonna have to come back and check on that guy. Make sure it's not leaking. It was looking a little drippy when we came over here. I gave it a couple more snuggity snugs, and uh, hopefully, that takes care of it. We're gonna put some tires back on and I think we're gonna get this thing back down off of jack stands. So this is our setup for getting this truck off of these jacks. Two floor jacks and one bottle jack in order to make this big fat camper go up. back down on all fours. That's a dually joke. Oh. I'm ready for an adult beverage. I think that's gonna wrap up everything that is important for tonight. I feel pretty good. And then hopefully Troy's gonna be able to knock out that front end and maybe we'll be doing a test drive by the end of the day tomorrow. We really need to be in order to make it to our destination in California for Tiny Fest. Pleasanton, California. Be there, be square. Well, we made it, at least in terms of getting everything back together, getting the truck put back on the ground. So, re-geared. So this is my confessional. I blew it. I failed to continue to film the rest of the axle repair saga. The synopsis is we were able to get everything put back together. We got back on the road and then we had more problems. So that parking brake that I thought I had dialed in, I did not. It was continuing to drag inside of that hub assembly, created continued friction and heat. But once we just adjusted that and backed it off a little bit more, we were able to make it to Pleasanton, California, where we did our Tiny Fest event. And ever since then, I've been continuing to do temperature checks on the axle and so far everything's been fine. We haven't had the temperature exceed anything more than about 130 degrees on the wheel bearing area, even on hot days. So I'm considering us to be in really good shape. The last and final upgrade, we're finally upgrading our axle shafts to something that will hopefully not break in the future. So we're upgrading to Cromali axle shafts from Yukon. Uh, these had to be cut down to the factory length of the axle shafts of our truck. So these things are going in and hopefully this will be the last of the times that we ever have to touch our axle innards. <coughs> so I have this jacked up here so that we don't lose any drive fluid. Hopefully this goes in nice and smoothly with the new Yukon one. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Uh oh. 
probably need to be changing a gasket. Although that looks pretty fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get this thing on the ground and then torque those bolts down and then go to the other side. This look going super smooth. Fingers crossed. So plan is gonna leave the little decorative covers for the rim off for the next day or two in order to make sure we don't have any leaks and also to be able to check some temperatures and stuff with the infrared temp gun. I'm gonna go do the other side of the axle shaft or other axle shaft, the other side of the axle. So I put that other axle shaft in. I didn't film any of it. Uh, I did end up with an axle shaft leak on that side because I didn't change out the gasket because I'm lazy. Then I broke one of the axle shaft studs when I was torquing down the bolt. Probably should be using a torque wrench, but I don't have one. So, you know, things break. So I'm gonna fix that this weekend. So we replaced that axle shaft gasket. We've been good to go since then. Super low temperatures. We've got these new chromoly axle shafts in there. So that actually fully rounds out our upgrades and changes that we're gonna make to this axle before headed to Mexico. Probably gonna bring a spare set of wheel bearings with me for the old just in case. We're super pumped to finally have this thing in a good place. I put now 5,000 miles on the truck. Other than the axle shafts, those probably have about 3,000 miles on them. So we're now headed back to Mexico. We've got what we believe to be a good working axle underneath us. Stick around. We're gonna have a whole breakdown series on going to Baja, our paperwork getting there, how we go through the border, which border we choose, where we're gonna stay the first night. Uh, but in the interim, we're gonna have a few more failure videos from some other stuff that I managed to screw up during our time traveling this year. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications, share this video with your friends, find someone who wants to be a follower and love us. Thanks, appreciate it. Deuces, bye.